What's going on guys? Welcome to another gameplay video. Today we are in day two of the Outlaw Merriment deck. Uh, if you did not see the kind of deck overview and everything, there is a deck list down in the description or you can check out the first video. Uh, I kind of did a step by step through the deck. Uh, we're going to go through three more games with this. This deck is super fun. It's jank, it's silly, but it's awesome. Uh, absolutely love it. So I'm excited to jump into these games. I think yesterday we had a two and one record somewhere along there. Um, which was honestly better than I expected. Uh, this deck is very silly, so I, I don't expect it to always do very well. I definitely don't think we can keep this hand. We just don't have any early game. Uh, this we can keep, I believe. And we'll throw one of these back. Uh, we'll see what we can get. Uh, we do need a second white for the Outlaw's Merriment, uh, as well as the Elspeth Conqueror's Death. Uh, so hopefully we can get there, but the idea, if you don't know, behind this deck, oh, not a good draw, uh, is solely to pump out tokens on a regular basis, uh, and then use Divine Visitation to essentially turn them all into 4-4s, four uh, that fly and have Vigilance, and then you're, you're pretty well set up, so it's, it's a really sweet deck, uh, I will say that. Um, interesting. I really, really like this one though. This is just a fun deck. It's just fun to play. It's not an amazing one by any means, but it does give us some uh, some chill days uh, while we are stuck at home thanks to COVID-19. I hope everybody is staying safe uh, and certainly doing the best they can to mitigate the issue. All right, well, that has to attack. I'll swing him with both. They're going to block one here, definitely kill it, and that's fine. Um, maybe we should have left one up for this, but that's okay. Interested to see what they are. I'm assuming self-mill, obviously. They're the... oh, I see. Okay, so they are the reanimate deck. This is a very cool deck. I like this one a lot. I'm not going to block here. <laughs> Good to note, uh, definitely should have left one up here, but that's okay. Deals one damage to any target. Let's just go ahead and get rid of that. Okay, so let's play land. Hmm. We don't have anything in our graveyard yet. Uh, I think I'm gonna... I don't know. No, we'll blow up one of theirs. That's fine. We do have to attack in here. So the question was, do we want to blow up our own thing or do we want to blow up their thing? I think it was right to blow up theirs just because if these get out of hand, obviously that's quite bad that they're just looting uh, through their deck. So we certainly don't want them to, to be able to do that. Uh, arguably a 3-3 does stop them, but if, if they have any removal spell, then that kind of mitigates that issue. Okay, that's fine. Very, very good. Uh, I do really, really like this. Um, <clears throat> well, let's be mana efficient. So let's play this out. Well, Birth of Miletus. Get our planes out. Uh, and we'll swing with our 3-1 here. We're not going to swing with this just because they do have Death Touch. Uh, we certainly don't want to lose that. And we don't have anything in our graveyard to bring back yet. Uh, so it's really not advantageous for us to, to lose that. Uh, this 0-4 wall is probably going to come in handy against some of these creatures. But we'll we'll see as we go through. Um, they did steal Legion Warboss. Not an amazing one to steal, but, you know, that's fine. Ooh, okay, that's not good. Thankfully, we do have an answer, but, uh... Deals one damage. We'll just go ahead and deal that to face. Um, oh, perfect. Okay, but... Do we want to play this now? So they do have Agent of Treachery. So that's... 
kind of don't want to to allow that. So I think I actually am going to pass here. Uh, not swing in with anything. I'm just going to end my turn. I don't want to play Div Divine Visitation into them just Agent of Treachery. Uh, if they can reanimate it in any way, then that's, which is what their deck does, then certainly that's bad for us. So, yep. And this is exactly why we did not play that. We do have the answer, uh, certainly, with Elspeth Conqueror's Death, which is awesome. Um, and it exiles it as well, which is even better. Uh, but they are going to get to steal this here. And thankfully with Castle Ardenvale, we actually have, uh, you know, at least something to do. Block. Let's go ahead and create a 1-1. One, one. So can we do both? No. I kind of want to just get Divine Visitation down. Is that greedy? We'll find out. We'll, uh, we'll go with it. Uh, no attacks here. We'll see what they got. If they have another agent, that's very, very bad. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. So they bounce Divine Visitation, maybe? And then we exile a card? Hmm. I'll exile the Divine Visitation. I don't know that that's 100% correct, but uh, Elspeth Conquers Death gives us way too many options. Continuously only swinging with the 1-1. One, one. I don't know necessarily what we need to hit with this is my worry. I'm going to hit Ashiok. I just don't want them like busting out more and more tokens. Um, that seems quite bad for us. I will go ahead and thin the deck a bit. And we'll pass. I don't think we attack here, right? They just get to start throwing stuff at us. So no, I don't think we attack here. Okay, so... I don't really care to kill this. They're gonna... My assumption is if they are attacking with this, they don't care if it dies. Uh, and that just means they have a, reanimate, a reanimation spell, excuse me. Uh, so doing that just allows them to steal more stuff, which we don't want to do. Interesting game. Certainly they've got the more powerful stuff. If we can get another Divine Visitation, I think we're in good shape. But I do think it was right to keep the uh, the Elspeth Conqueror's death. Still don't know if we can attack though. Like they just have so much stuff. Ooh, they got an agent. That's not good. 
Um, so here they could easily take... I don't know how that would work if they took Elspeth Conqueror's death. Certainly not very helpful. I didn't realize we had an Archon in our graveyard. Oh, I guess that just got there, though. Duh. Just gonna start swinging. They're gonna be able to take some of these out, and that's fine. They want the agent to die. Hmm. Tricky game. So here they're going to steal the Archon, I assume. I don't know what the opponent's waiting on at this point. Did they, like, disconnect? That might be a possibility. I hope they're not just, like, stalling, stalling. That's kind of annoying. And they shouldn't be. They are clearly in a good position. <clears throat> Got two more agents in the graveyard. Hmm. See if they respond. Hmm. Well, I kind of have to assume that they're just either disconnected or no longer there, which kind of sucks. <clears throat> I hate when that happens. That's really frustrating. Well... We do kind of get to see, so um, I guess while we're waiting, the one thing that I will say is you kind of get to see the power level of like, you know, they could sweep our board, for instance. So we still have three token gener generators on the field if they swept. Um, and like, that's, I think, one of the really strong like upsides to a deck like this is that, you know, it's okay. They kill your creatures. You lose a bunch of little, little tiny guys. And it's like, okay, well, that sucks, definitely. But like, it's not the worst thing in the world. You've got tons of uh, rebuild potential, uh, assuming they don't steal stuff with Agent of Treachery, which in this case is obviously what we're up against. And that's the scary thing. Agent of Treachery is such a good card. I, I have to assume they disconnected there. Uh, I certainly hate for them to, to just sit there, but 
Um, excuse me for one second, guys. I think there's somebody at the door. I'll be right back. All right, sorry about that, guys. Let's go ahead and jump into, ga into <clears throat> excuse me, into game two. Uh, allergies are getting to me, but uh, let's uh, let's see if we can get another win with this. Obviously, it sucks the the first round. Uh, somebody disconnected there. Certainly hate to see that, but uh, we will hopefully avoid that this time. Um, what's our hand looking like? Not amazing, but I do think it's keepable. Uh, we've got birth to kind of thin out our deck and continue the land drops, and then. Hopefully Elspeth Conquer's death can keep us in it, depending on what we're up against, so uh, we will see. Go ahead and play that Sacred Foundry out. Ooh, that's a good one. Um, let's get Starfield Mystic down. Uh, have no clue what the opponent's playing here. Uh, mono Blue? Could be the Flash style deck. Uh, let's birth of Miletus here. Yeah. Okay. It's fine by me. Go ahead and pull out a planes. Play our land and we'll just swing him for two. Um, and see what they've got. Blue white. Okay. They could certainly bounce Starfield here. Doesn't seem amazing, but that's certainly what they could do. Uh they could see they could have bounced their own omen. I feel like that might have been better, but whatever. Let's Archon here. I don't care too much about Teferi right this second. Um, I'm more worried they could have a Wrath effect or something, which would obviously not be great, but we do have the Elspeth Conquer's death if we need it, so uh, we will certainly see. So first things first, I'm going to attack in, uh, and that way if they do want to shatter, they can certainly do that, but they... Uh, We'll see if we can kill Teferi. Probably not, but that's okay. Oh. Okay. There we go. Okay. Let's go ahead and do this just to draw a card. And... We couldn't have played anything else that turn anyway, so that just seems like the best play. Oh, this is a Fires deck. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. So now I don't know if we want to kill Teferi or... This, technically. Um, or Fires. This deck is so sweet, uh, and this is very much a tier one deck, uh, which we are not. Um, but uh, this this is a very very cool card. We actually run fires of invention in this deck. Uh, in fact, it'd be a not terrible draw. Um, would get us off of the Starfield Mystic plan for sure, but you know that's fine. Well, and there it is. Um, I honestly think we hit the fires here. They can bounce Starfield Mystic all they want. I don't care about that. Um, so let's get rid of that. Just so they can't double bomb us this turn. Uh, and if, you know, if they've got another fires, that's fine. But that takes up one of their two plays that they get with it. And so I think that that's a much uh, stronger play, we'll say. <laughs> This also does threaten the Archon returning, which is quite good. Not again. <laughs> Please not again. Okay. Deafening Clarion. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Ooh. 
Mm hmm So we're going to take a big hit here. We do have the Elspeth Conqueror's Death to, to kind of get around it a little bit. If we want to deal with Teferi, we can. Teferi's not that big of a hit against our deck. It's certainly annoying to return stuff. Uh, and, you know, with tokens especially, that can get very out of hand. But we're not really doing a whole lot at the moment. Uh, and so it's not really going to be, a, at this moment, a backbreaking card. Certainly could be uh, if we get later in this game. Man, I wish we could do double up here. Uh, we can fire some invention and then do something else, though, so I think we will. They may try and counter this. I don't know. I don't think this deck runs very many counters, though. Let's go ahead and get rid of the Cavalier. Um, yes, we could have Fires and Legion War Boss, but that doesn't seem like a optimal thing. Uh, we need to stem the bleeding a little bit here and make sure that we can deal with, you know, whatever they've got. They could bounce Fires if they wanted. And I don't really care if they do. Drawn a good bit of land this game, I will say. Granted, we did start with like four in the hand, so makes sense. Yep, bounce that, draw your card. Play a second Cavalier of Gales. Well, that's certainly a card. Um... Hmm. Well, that's not bad. Play the land. Do we want to fire as then Cavalier or Cavalier and Legion War Boss? I kind of think it's Cavalier and then Legion War Boss. Hmm. I'm going to let them have their 3-3. Three, three. And here we get to bring back a second Elspeth Conqueror's Death, which is really sweet. One top, one bottom. Okay. And let's Legion War Boss. Obviously just going to block here, and that's fine. <clears throat> Alright, well we pretty much have everything we can out, so we will certainly see what they've got. Um, Fires is a good start. Another Cavalier. A Flame maybe would be quite bad. So we get to, if they don't kill this, we get to fires, get a token, swing in, kill something, uh, and then we're in much better shape. That's quite good, too. Oh, it's only creature. Duh. Excuse me. Let's do this. Our planes. It's essentially a free spell, which is really sweet. And then we'll fire us. Just to get another token. Obviously, this has to attack. Yeah, we both want these to attack to fairy, I think. Question is, do I want to also attack with the Cavalier? I think yes. If they want to trade these off, that's fine. Uh, we have the Castle in Breath, by the way. Yep. 
Do I want to pump here? Yeah, I think I do. We just gain more life that way. Um, and here we still leave up, you know, blockers. I'm okay with just kind of starting to, to trade these off here. Uh, what do we need now, though? Uh, uh, Outlaw's Merriment wouldn't be bad, honestly. Um, any enchantment is going to be much better here because of Archon. Uh, Nelspeth Conquer's Death would be awesome, for sure. Okay, it's a good one. Divine Intervention would be good because we have Legion War Boss, um, and we can play it pre-combat. I like that. It's not amazing now that they have Cavalier of Gales, but it is still, you know, it's it's decent. We're definitely in pretty rough shape though, uh, just based on the board. Yep, they're gonna be able to swing in for a lot here. Do they all get trampled too? No, just taste. I'll go ahead and trade these off. The less creatures they have, the better off we are, obviously, uh, due to Cavalier of Flame. And we at least gain a little bit of life back, so we're not, you know. Oh, God, that's so bad. <laughs> That's good. That's very, very good. Um, I'm going to attack like this. This time I'm not going to use the Castle Inbreath. I'm going to wait. Um, they're certainly going to be able to uh, to deal a lot of damage here, and that's my worry. I want to be able to block and then pump if I need to. Huh. This is a much more interesting game than I thought it would be. Oh, okay. Do they just win now? They all gain trample in haste, so like that's pretty much game. Can they deal twenty two though, I guess is the question. I think they probably can. Kenrith is the man. This is a sweet game, though, actually. Uh, much, I mean, they controlled the game with Teferi pretty well in the early side of it. Uh, but they get one, they get some activations here, so. We know we're going to do this, so let's just go ahead and do it. Okay. Get one of these here. One of these here. Hmm. We're just trying to save ourselves as much damage as possible. So uh, when this dies, uh, we will get an Elspeth Conquer's death back, and then we're also going to draw another one. Uh, so we're essentially going to start pumping out more of these guys, and hopefully, theoretically, maybe being able to deal with some of this stuff. Um, we will see what's left, I should say. Is this double? Oh gosh, that was silly. That was meant to block that one. So they can pump twice, is that right? So they can, I mean, they're able to deal a lot. We're, I think we're okay. We'll see, we'll see.
I think here they're just kind of debating, do they want to scry or do they want to just pump? Uh, and I don't know, maybe they're just counting up and seeing how much damage they can do. I hate to lose the Legion War boss here, to be honest. That kind of sucks, but, um, you know, it is what it is. This is also a huge mistake, because they could just not kill this, in which case we don't get the Elspeth Conqueror's death back. Uh, but we'll see. Okay. Down to seven. Okay. Let's get rid of that. Gain some life back. Uh, do they just have it here, though? Yeah, that's pretty good. We take two damage off of that, five off of that, so seven, eight, nine, ten. Are we at, are we at one or are we dead though? Maybe I'm not counting correctly. We'll we'll see. This is such an interesting game. This has gone back and forth. It feels like, which is really sweet, but well, and then we gain three, so then we're up to four. These don't have trample. Obviously gonna get Elspeth Conqueror's death here. <laughs> okay. That's good then. Um, okay. Interesting, interesting. Land's not that exciting. Um, here we just exile the Cavalier. Uh, we can block this with these little, you know, somewhat meaningless 2-2s, two uh, gain some life back, and then we're, we're kind of in okay shape. Huh. Castle Inbreath here, get more damage in. We could just leave that up to block this, but I'd rather not. I'd rather go on the proactive plan. They've got a lot of Haymakers in their deck, uh, and they've got, like we're seeing now, the Scry too, so anything we can do to kind of rush this a little bit more I think is going to be better. One top, one bottom, that's not good. It's a fairy. Okay. Bounce Archon? Just bounce token. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that works. I guess. Kind of temporary. Oh. Perfect. Okay. Hmm. This is actually kind of tricky. Um, let's get this back, because then we can take out Teferi also. 
one one counter there. And then let's get Outlaw's Merriment down. I love this card. It's just absolutely silly. So we can attack for five, six, seven. So we can get them down to one, or we can take out to fairy and then get them down relatively close still. Get them down to three. Uh, thanks to Legion War Boss, by the way. Um, I kind of think it's okay to just take out to fairy here, but that might be wrong. Like, swing the, excuse me, the 1-1 one, one here, and then swing Archon here. Gain some more life back, and then, you know, see what we can do there. There we go. Do that. We'll castle in breath just to again gain as much life pack as possible. Really wish we had castle Ardenvale, honestly. Uh, we have four of those and only one castle in breath, but hey, that's okay. Um, this has been a very fun game. Uh, if if they find the win, then certainly good for them. This is a, a really sweet one. Thankfully, we've got a little bit of insurance versus, like, Shatter the Skies or anything like that. Um, so we could always just, you know, pull back an Archon uh, or, you know, find a way to, to bring something back with Elspeth, Conqueror's Death. We also just have the Outlaw's Merriment, so there is a definite possibility that, you know, they they draw a Sweeper, they play it, we just Outlaw's Merriment into our win. Uh, there's that possibility. There's a lot we could do here. So feeling okay against most things. Um, Cavalier of Gales would be pretty bad, but I don't know. We've beaten at least one of, well, one went back in the deck, I should say. So two of them are exiled, but I think they have one in the back. One top, one bottom. <laughs> what was this? Creatures you control gain indestructible, take an extra. Oh. Okay. I guess it would have been better not to block there uh, and technically block this turn based on, you know, if they get like a Cavalier of Flame, that would be bad. If our opponent gets us off of that, then certainly well done. And that would be a misplay on my end, so. Scribe to the bottom. Gonna take four. Hey, they went out with a bang with Chance for Glory. That's pretty cool. So, well done by the opponent here. Hey, we get to uh, to gold. Good for us. Um, sweet. That was a really fun game, actually. That turned out to be really, really fun. So, let's give it one more shot. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, with this Outlaws Merriment deck. I love this deck. I've had good luck with it, uh, as you've been able to tell. Uh, but it's also just a really fun build. Like, there's something about it that gives you... If you've got the time to set up, if you've got the time to to get, like, a Merriment down, uh, you just feel like you're in such a good position. And I think that that's really, really fun. This is not a great hand uh, against a fast deck. Um... It does have the fires, though, so on turn four, we could fires into Archon. This is such a risky keep. I'm going to try it. Uh, I don't think this is correct. I think the safer play is definitely to Mulligan, uh, but they're down to six. Looks like they're going to be an Azorius deck. Uh, actually, no, I think we just want to get like an early game play if we can help it. A Legion War boss would be amazing. Is this another Jessica Fire stack? Um, I'm guessing it is, which is going to be really annoying. Uh, but we'll we'll see. I like it when we get more of a variety of decks to show you. Um, but unfortunately, that's not going to be the case. It doesn't look like. Um, but that's okay. Did 
divine visitation. Well, we're doing a whole lot of nothing, but that's okay. Windscarred Crag. Okay. Oh, this is a cool... Okay. I'm in. I don't know what this deck is, but I love it already. Let's get these two down. Jank deck versus potentially other jank deck. We'll see. <laughs> One more land would be amazing so we can get Divine Visitation down. Um, if not, that's, you know, fine. Yeah, Narset's sweet. You got it. Three one with haste. Okay. Well, we did not get what we were hoping for, but that's okay. Let's uh, run Archon out. Let's run fires out. We'll attack the Narset here just so they can't continuously dig. Um, it's not amazing, but it certainly gets it down a little ways, so that's good. I love that that has trample. That's so sweet. <laughs> we really just want to land uh, to be able to divine visitation and then like Elspeth conquers death. That would be so sweet. Um, definitely in Clarion. Okay. Yep. Double deafening Clarion. <laughs> sure. So this will help us get our land. We can get Divine Visitation down. We'll just go for the, the Sahili. I mean, we kind of have time, I think. I'm not like tremendously worried about that, so... Did I actually pay mana? That was really stupid. I could have Castle Ardenvale. That was dumb. I kind of just rather than not have 1-1s, one -one, so like getting through to this Sahili I think is better. And here we're going to get, you know, a 4-4 thanks to Divine Visitation with Outlaw's Variant. And then we can, you know, kind of do whatever we need to do. Legion War Boss is very good. Let's get that down. Let's get Elspeth Conquers Death. I think we'll take out Sahili. Uh, we'll move to attacks. This has to attack. This doesn't, but I'm just going to. We're feeling pretty good at this point, because even with a sweeper, you know, we're we're going to get a 4-4 minimum every turn. Uh, and so it's like, yeah, that's kind of fine. <laughs> I'm trying to think if I actually even care about Narset. I don't think I do. It just kind of doesn't do anything. Fate of Wishes. Okay, well, yeah, that's certainly a good card. Wow, okay. That's a good game. So how many can they blow up? Artifacts, one, two, three, four. So they could blow up this, this, maybe this, and fires. We still have another Divine Visitation, so it's really not the worst thing in the world because this is still going to pull out you know, more 4-4s. Four yep. Could have made a 4-4, four four, I guess, in response there, but... Uh, you know, it is what it is. We'll just go ahead and make our little 1-1. One -one. Guess that would have technically sealed the game, but yeah, that's okay. Okay. 
Yeah. Do we win? I think we just win. Never didn't have it. Look at that. Cool. Okay, so I first of all, I really love the opponent's deck. The Sahili deck uh, is one that we played with quite a while, a while back, uh, before like Theris Beyond Death and everything was in standard. Uh, cool to see it back and a different take on it with Fires of Invention. Uh, really, really sweet deck. Uh, but this deck has been amazing. So this was technically a 3-0 for us today. We get went two and one yesterday. Uh, so very, very good showing from this uh, Outlaws Merriment deck. Let me know in the comment section if you want to see more of specifically this deck, or if you have another deck list that you'd like us to try out, just shoot us a link. Uh, we'll we'll certainly check it out, and maybe we'll we'll show it on stream or on uh, on video, I should say. Uh, so if you guys did enjoy this video, though, please uh, of course make sure to show your love with a comment or a like down below. Uh, make sure also to check out our links down below, our Patreon, our Instagram, all that stuff is there, including our website where I will most likely have an article for this up very, very soon. Uh, but regardless, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next gameplay video.